Hello everyone, it's Mr. Mood here and today we are going to learn about proportion. Okay, now let's start off with some basic question in proportion. Say for example, you go to a cinema and you buy six tickets. You and your family members go to the cinema. By the way, when was the last time you went to the cinema? I don't remember going to the cinema in about maybe four or five months. It has been four or five months. Okay, anyway, so six tickets cost uh, £48, then how much will each ticket cost? So we need to find out the price of one ticket. So one costs, what do we need to do? So we need to divide the actual amount, total amount of six tickets by the number of tickets that will give you the price of one. Okay, so the 48 divided by six that will give us eight so one ticket costs eight pounds okay so it cost of one ticket six times eight is 48 and you can check your answer just like that okay how much will five tickets cost so five costs will be five now from 48 to five is very difficult to work out so what we need to do is we need to use the price of one ticket and we can easily find out the price of five tickets. So five times eight, so we need to just times five by eight, and that will give us the answer, which is 40 pounds. Really struggling to write upside down, but anyway, 40 pounds. Okay, I'm hoping to put my board uh, on the wall, so it'll be easier for me to teach next time. Okay, so that will be 40 pounds. Now this is some. Uh, this is a really easy example, uh, pretty straightforward. So let's have a look at a bit more difficult uh, examples. So let's say we have a bus. So one bus transports. So let's say two bus. Two bus transports. Two bus transports 32 people okay uh, we need to find out how many people does three buses transport okay so two buses transport 32 people how many people does three buses transport now what we can do is like we see in the example before we need to work out the tra bus, one bus that transports. How many people does one bus transport? So let's find out one bus. So one bus transports just divided by two, just half it. That would be 16 people. Okay. So now we can find out three buses. So three buses will transport three times 16, which is 48 people. Okay, so this is the basic of proportion, how you can work out different amounts, okay, using one of them. And you can see every time you went to one, how much is one, and then just multiply with the number that is needed. Okay, now we're going to look at ratio tables and we're going to solve proportion problems using ratio tables. Now you might have done probably ratio tables already. If you're in my class, we've done ratio tables, we've done many of them. Okay, so let's start off by drawing one. A ratio tables is a really good way to solve a proportion problem, even recipe problems. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's say we have uh, we are converting gallons and liters. So let's say gallons and liters okay uh, let's put down some numbers in so let's say we got two here so two gallons is equal to nine liters so we're starting off with this information here we need to find out what four gallons is 18 gallons then we have 27 liters two gallons all the way around and then we have 63 okay so over here we have two gallons is nine liters okay so clearly we can see what's four gallons is going to be so look at the relationship between two and four what's happening from there to there 
we are multiplying it by 2. Okay, so multiplying it by 2, so that means we need to multiply the liters by 2 as well. So we just multiply this by 2, that gives us 18. So 4 gallons is equal to 18 liters. Okay, next one. 18 gallons to liters. Now 4 to 18 we cannot find a direct relationship by multiplying. So what we need to do is maybe possibly go to 2 to 18. So what do I do to 2 to get to 18? Have a think about it. Exactly, you times it by 9. So what we're going to do is times the liters by 9 as well. So we're going to multiply this by 9 as well. So I'm putting these uh, lines and what showing you the numbers, what I'm multiplying with, so you can clearly see what's going on. And you can do this as well, it's a really good uh, practice. So 9 times 9 is 81 litres. Okay, now this time we have litres to gallons. So we have 27 litres given here. But I need to get to gallons this time. Now, Let's find a direct, now using this information we can see we cannot find a direct relationship. So what we can do is you can use the 9 and 27, these two numbers, and then use that multiplier to get to the gallons. So 9 times 3 is 27. Okay, so 9 times 3 is 27. So what do I need to do? To this one, so this number, I need to multiply by 3. So that gives us, multiply by 3, that gives us 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, now <coughs> you can check your answer using a calculator. So if I just grab my calculator. Now we know that 2 litre, 2 gallons is 9 um, liters so if i just say one is going to be 4.5 and six times 4.5 six times 4.5 that gives an answer of 27 and i can be sure that this is the right answer because check it on the calculator okay and this is how you can actually use a ratio table to answer proportion questions okay so let's do the final one so let's have a look what do we need to do to 63 so from here from 9 to 63 what did I do? Times it by 7. Okay, 7 times 9 is 63. So we just have to time this number here, 2 by 7, which is 14. Okay, and this is how you can use ratio tables to find out proportion um, missing numbers on a table. Okay, next, so we're going to find out a lawnmower. For lawnmower takes uh, 56 minutes to mow the lawn. How many uh, minutes will it take two lawn mowers to so, uh, mow the lawn? Now have a look at this, what's going on here? Now this time this number has decreased by two. Or what other relationship can we see from four to two? So we can see it's being divided by two. So divided by two. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide or we're going to multiply by two. Have a think about it. If four lawnmowers take 56 minutes, then two lawnmowers will take more or less time. Now you can clearly fall into the trap of just dividing this number by two as well. But this, in this case, the time is going to increase because of less lawnmowers. Okay, so in this case, we're going to multiply it by two. Okay, so 56 times by two, 50 times two is 100, and six times two is 12. That will give us an answer of 112 minutes. Okay, now this is called inverse proportion. Okay, so one increases, um, the other decreases. And the more lawnmowers, time decreases. Okay, less lawnmower, time increases. Okay, this is called inverse proportion. One goes up, the other goes down. Because the previous example we've seen, one goes up, the other one goes up as well. Okay, in this one, we have to go to 4 to 16. So this time we have 16 lawn mowers. So how long will it take? So we've got more lawn mowers this time. So 4 times 4 gives us 16. Okay, now this time we have a lot more lawn mowers. Do you think the time is going to increase or decrease? Exactly, it's going to decrease. So we're going to divide this by 4 as well. 
So times this by 4, we have to divide this by 4, because the opposite way. Okay, so 4 times 14, so that'll be 14. Now, over here, we got 28 minutes, and we need to find out the number of lawnmowers that takes 28 minutes to mow the lawn. So over here, we need to, we can see the relationship is times by 2. The time is doubling, okay? That means... The long mower, what we need to do, we need to do the opposite. So we times by two, that means we need to divide this by two. So that will give us 16 divided by two is going to be eight. Because of more time, that means we are have less long mowers. Okay, so that's the relationship that we are looking at here, which is inverse proportion. And next one, 224. So have a think about what's going to go here. So how many lawn mowers will are needed to mow the lawn in 224 minutes? Now you've got, probably got a clear idea that you have a lot more, well, a lot less lawn mower because we don't have, we have a lot more time, okay? So have a think about that one. You can possibly use, uh, now is, you have to be very careful, you know, very clever here because what number are you going to use to get to 224? Okay, so I can see 112. If I just double that, that gives me 224. Just multiply by 2. That means I need to divide the number of lawnmowers by 2. Do the opposite. So divide by 2, which is 1. So one lawnmower will take 224 minutes. So that's the answer for this one.